Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. Rich and Quan got it going on. Come with knobs, right, homie, the show is on. <laughs> hey, see, she made it awkward. See, I didn't know she was gonna grab on my neck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it happens, it happens, it happens. But we're gonna fix that. One more time. See, right? we laughed it off. So. <laughs> see, I said laugh it off. Alright, so. Okay, baby. What's, What's good, good team, Rissa Kwan? It's a girl, Rissa G. And it's your boy Kwan, and together we're unstoppable. And unbreakable. Alright guys, we're back with another lit video. I don't know if you guys have seen the video where we did 25 different types of kisses, but we're back with another kissing video, and we're just gonna show you guys how to kiss. But not only how to kiss, but how to nail the perfect kiss. Ooh, I like how you put that. How to nail the perfect kiss. Perfect okay, kiss. baby. All right, you guys. So obviously kissing entails of everything regarding your mouth. And it comes down to a lot of things. Like there's a lot of intricate steps you have to take when it comes to hygiene. Keeping your lips moisturized. Uh, having else? a bright, white, healthy smile. And honestly, guys, we've been getting a lot of DMs asking what our teeth whitening process is because I feel like our teeth have been flourishing. Yes, sir. Honestly. And so thank you for all the compliments on our teeth. Thank all of y'all, but... We have this agreement with this company called Smile Brilliant, and we only agree to do a feature or a review video on their product if we believe in it. Yes, so you guys know we have a lot of sponsorships on our channel, but we only come to our channel if it's something that we believed in and something that we have great reviews on and something that works for us personally. So for the last few weeks, we've been using this teeth whitening kit that we got sent from Smile Brilliant. What is really dope about it is that they allow you to make custom trays, which we felt aided in the whitening process. So we're gonna show you guys the process just in case you guys wanna purchase. Yeah, so make sure you guys check out the description box below because we are also doing a giveaway with them. So you guys may have the chance to win a free whitening kit. And also there will be a discount code and link in the description. So make sure you guys go check that out. We thought it was a perfect time to do this video because the holiday season's coming up and it's gonna honestly be a really good gift for the this holidays. a really good gift. Yes. Believe it. Okay, you guys, so here are our Smile Brilliant Kiss that we got sent. Look at you smiling, showing off your beautiful teeth. Yeah, I gotta show off my teeth. <laughs> Yo, Kwan's been smiling a lot lately. So basically, here's the kit. Inside of it, they have these, which help you make your dental impressions that you will be sending back to the company to get your custom trays. They send you the teeth whitening gel, which is like a syringe. And then they also send you the sensitizing gel so that your teeth don't get sensitive while you're doing the whitening process. And then they have the base and the catalyst. So guys, for the dental impression process, you have to mix the catalyst and the base together. So I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to do that. Um, so basically, you open this tray up. It's kind of like clay. Yeah, it's like putty kind it's of. Like, yeah. They're both called paste though, so they call them paste. So basically you just, one is blue and one is white. So Kwan's gonna take them and mix them together and he's gonna keep mixing them until there is no more white, right? Yeah, basically. And so basically the base is gonna dominate the catalyst. So you keep mixing them up. Um, once you take them out, you gotta immediately start mixing them together because they harden really quick. Yeah. Um, so now that I got them both out, got the base, got the catalyst, I'm gonna start mixing them together, like really fast. The base is already dominating the catalyst. You just keep doing it until you don't see any more white, which I don't see no more white. No, you did that quickly. Yeah, so boom. after that, you shape it out a little bit. Like a saucer kind of? And you're gonna do this for both your top and bottom set. Basically, you just put it inside this tray. Fix okay. it up nicely. Fix it up. So this is how it looks in the tray right now. And I'm gonna put it in my mouth. Just bite down. <laughs> and then you just bite down. Uh -huh. and, you, and you hold it down for three minutes. You keep, hold it on your teeth for three minutes. Uh -huh. And within three minutes, it will have your exact teeth shape, everything. Uh -huh and it will be nice and hard. And then basically you do this for the top and the bottom and then you send it back to the Smile Brilliant company and then they'll send you back um, these trays, hold on. We already did this process, so we're just showing you guys just in case you have, like yeah. decide to purchase it. for three it. minutes you hold it down on your top teeth and bottom teeth. Do the same for both. So like and you said, then, you send it to the company and then since Kwan and I already did this, obviously we already this know. Is yours, this <laughs> we had to write our names on the back so we didn't mix them up, but um, they send you back these, which are so cool and like really nice. Literally fit your teeth perfectly. They're clear, as you guys yeah. can see, and they fit your teeth perfectly. So this is my top set. Mm -hmm. This is my bottom set. And basically all you do is take the whitening gel, place them inside of your tray. 
So inside here, you would take the syringe, put it in here, put it on the top, do the same thing for the bottom. Wow. And then you could sit with them for like 45 minutes to like three hours. Everyone's teeth sensitivity is different. So like Quan, he's been able to keep his in longer than mine yeah, because longer. I have more <laughs> sensitive teeth. But overall, <laughs> let me take this out of my mouth. Overall, we've been really enjoying this teeth whitening process. You could say your reviews on it. Yeah, I mean, it's really, it's like really dope. It, like it works pretty fast. So like mm -hmm. the first week I started using it, I could see my results. teeth whitening. Yeah. I could see the results. Like as soon as I'll take them out, I'll see like parts of my teeth turning whiter. And I was getting hype. I'm like, nah, I gotta use this more. So because trust me, it actually really works. Cause we've both been like trying to find a, a teeth whitening process that actually works for us. So like I'm gonna include the before and after pictures just so you guys could get a little idea. And yeah, we definitely recommend uh, checking out Smile Brilliant. Like we said, make sure you check the description box down below. It's definitely a company that we've been raving about and like telling all our family and friends about because yep. it's worked for us. So we don't see why it wouldn't work for you, you know? Yep. So make sure you check the description below. Make sure you enter so you could have the chance to win that mm -hmm. for the giveaway that we're doing with Smile Brilliant. And also, if you want to purchase a kit, make sure you use that code where you get a percentage off. And um, yeah, shout out to Smile Brilliant. Thank you guys yes. for sponsoring this video. We love, love, love the teeth whitening kits so. though. All right, so let's move on with this video. So now we're gonna teach you guys how to kiss. So first things first, right? This is the moment we all been waiting yeah, for. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Sorry, I love that. to kiss, guys. That Sorry, is a guys. passion of mine. I don't know if they know that, but your yeah. girl versus G. She's big on kissing. I love to kiss. But sorry for making you guys wait for so long. Mm -hmm. We're finally about to get into it and show you guys how to kiss somebody. But before you even think about kissing anybody, make sure you know this person. We're not kissing strangers out here. Make sure you know yeah. this person. Make sure you have feelings for this person. Make sure that the feeling is mutual. You I feel like it's really important when you're kissing someone to have a connection, honestly. Like, it just makes the kiss 10 times better. Yeah. So whether it's your first kiss or whether it's just your first kiss with that person, you yeah. want to make sure it's special, you know what I mean? So you want to have a connection. That's really important to me. Yeah, it's just 10 times better, guys. Believe me. Yeah, and then if the feeling is not mutual, it will ruin the whole kiss. Honestly. Because you lean in for the kiss and then... Oh. You get swerved, you know what I'm right. saying? You do not want to get dubbed. You don't want to feel like, damn. She ain't trying to kiss me. Like. So before you even think about leaning in for the kiss, make sure the feeling is mutual and make sure that y'all both feeling each other. Yeah. And y'all know what's going on because that's a bad situation when you get dubbed like that and it hurts. But first things first, right? Let's turn, baby. Okay. All right. So first off, ladies, look, see, Rissa is adjusting her hair and moving it out of her face. If the girl doesn't do that automatically, fellas, you could slowly move a hair for her, move it out of her face for her. I mean, gentle, be gentle with it. And then you wanna make some good eye contact. So you wanna look in the eye, you wanna look into her soul. Be confident, do not be nervous, be confident. Look her in her soul and let her know like, yo, you about to get the best kiss. Of your life, you know what I'm saying? But I confidence like, is everything. Yeah, right? I was gonna say confidence is key in a lot of situations though. You wanna be confident because you don't wanna be shaky, nervous, and then yeah. if I just throw off the kiss, it you know what I'm saying? If you wanna go in for that kiss, you better go in for that kiss. But wait. What? Don't go in like full a head, like, like a bull <laughs> and then boom, you know what I'm saying? You don't wanna be nervous, but you don't wanna like rush, it. rush into it. Yeah. You wanna take your time. Cause if you're nervous, it could, I don't know if you guys seen our 25 different kisses. If you have seen it, we did the awkward kiss, and that's just when you're nervous and like, you're hesitant. You so this person is leaning in, and you being hesitant, you like, and then boom, y'all bump heads. Headbutt. Oh. Mess, it ruins your whole kiss. You know what I'm saying? You I do mean, not want that to happen. For some people, it might just turn it into a little like laughter and stuff yeah. like that, which is like silly and goofy. That's fine, but it's like kind of embarrassing. Like, so, like come on, your cheeks might get red or something. Exactly. Uh. <laughs> You don't want to feel embarrassed, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You want that kiss to go perfectly. So don't be nervous. And also, um, you don't want to rush into the kiss. You don't want to go in like a bull because it could lead to the same thing. Boom! You know what I'm saying? She's coming in slowly or he's coming in slowly and you rushing in and boom, you hit, you hit faces. So you want to take your time. Be gentle, go in nice and slowly. Yeah, so I guess it uh, like depends who's initiating the kiss. For me, I'm an initiator, like, I'm an initiated, like, that's just me. So okay. for me, if I'm going in for my kiss with Quan, like, 
I'm a hands-on type of person. That's why it's important to make sure the feelings are mutual because what if somebody doesn't want you touching them? Like you gotta make sure they they exactly. like want you to be doing these things. So for me, I like to kiss like this. Like that. I like having some type of touching going on, you know what I mean? Like sometimes I'll even like touch his arm or something like that. Obviously, if it's a first kiss, you wanna get too intimate, but you just wanna be comfortable with that person, you know what I mean? Exactly. So And as for me, I like to stare into the woman's eyes, stare into her so so like I can show my confidence. I like to stare right into her eyes and then before I even lean in for the kiss, I either lick my lips like this. <laughs> Bite my lips to let her know that she's about to get yeah. the best kiss of her life. Oh my gosh. You gotta be confident. Yeah, it's crazy because be Quan confident. actually does that and that makes you be like, well, damn. Like, yeah. okay, he's you gotta, ready. Like, you gotta show some confidence. He wants to eat my face off right now. Like, yeah, yeah, so, like, if her hair is in the way, I'll gently move it out the way, put it behind her ears, mm -hmm. nice and soft. We'll touch her hair like this, and then I'll slowly come in, I'll grab a chin, mm -hmm. and then. Keep staring at her when I back off. <laughs> but I like to like either grab the chin, you know what I mean, just to make it more intimate and romantic. I feel like so that's I a big part chin. of it. Mwah. And when you're leaning in for the kiss, right? As you both are slowly leaning in, you have to go like if she's go leaning in low, then you know she's going for your bottom lip, so you go for her top lip. If she's leaning in high. You go for her bottom lip because you know she's going for you. Yeah. <laughs> Your top lip. He sounds you know like a saying? professional kisser right now, but it's honestly true though because like that's the awkward state. Because say you guys are both going in like this, yeah. then you're just gonna do like a regular peck. So I guess yeah. it depends on the type of kiss that you want to do. You have to aim for a top or bottom lip just so you know how you're gonna kiss. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. So that's important. So we can show them that. So say I'm coming in to the bottom, so like I'm going downwards more. I'm coming up. Huh. You see? And then we vice versa. Coming up. Yeah. So I'm like on top. For that bottom that, lip. For me, that's I simple. prefer to go for the bottom lip. That's just yeah, me. she likes to go for the bottom I lip. I always I do like that. to go for the top. Yeah. So we already know where we're <laughs> it's going. Perfect. Yeah, but you can kind of see that as you guys are leaning in. You can either see the head going down or the head coming up. But another thing, a lot of mistakes a lot of people make when they're about to go in for a kiss, they close their eyes uh, before they lean in for the kiss. That's true. That's a no no. You do not close your eyes until your lips touch like this. so yeah you don't want to go in blind and then boom the awkward kiss i feel like That's some people gonna like kiss. close their eyes because they are nervous you know what i mean but you don't want to just close your eyes and then you don't even know what's going on the guy could just be looking at you or the girl vice versa wait till your lips connect and oh, okay. then close see for me i don't do that i just like i'm like this oh. i close my eyes when our lips actually touch okay. because then i could feel that emotional connection I feel comfortable, the lips met, we're finally there, I know where my lips are, and then like, just now I can just, get the spiritual flow, also, you know what I'm saying? Also though, you wanna make sure you are closing your eyes, I feel like it's so awkward, like, if you're just it's sitting more there, intimate, yeah, when yeah, you're no, just I'm looking just saying, at each like, other. Like, you, I don't know if any of you guys have kids before, or if you haven't, but like, if you're sitting there, you guys both have your eyes open, that's the weirdest thing ever, like, Very you're weird. just like this. Just looking at each other in your lips, it, it's, it just, it's just, it's not just ruins ideal. the kiss, it's yeah. not, you don't feel that like, I don't yeah, know, that emotional, emotional connection if you're yeah. just looking at the person while y'all kissing. It's very awkward. You do not want to make any kiss awkward. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. Be comfortable. Make sure you're kissing somebody that you're comfortable with. Make sure the feeling is mutual. And um, do those little three things. Make sure your teeth are good, mm -hmm. nice and clean. Make sure your breath is smelling good. And make sure your lips are moisturized. It's that simple and just make sure you're kissing somebody that wants to kiss you. And then simply, as we just showed you guys, slowly lean in, watch out the, the, the person that you're gonna kiss, watch their movements, see where you gotta go in and how to lean in for the kiss. Don't be nervous and um, kiss will go pretty well. Yeah, so we're gonna show you one last kiss. This is how typically Quan and I would kiss because you know, I think we're, like, we're pros at it at this point with each other. See? That's simple. Simple, easy. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you guys learned something from this video and learned how to kiss. If it's your yeah. first kiss, hopefully you can take some pointers from this. If it's your first kiss with somebody, just make sure you have that connection. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And make sure you guys don't forget to check out the video description box because all the details for the Smile Brilliant will be down below. Yeah. And you guys already know we'll be back with more videos. Peace. It's 4 a.m. in the I got you all on my mind. Bad as hell, I can't lie. I need you, girl, in my life. Cause I can't wait till I.